My name is Dennis Van Aylstorp, and I'm here with the Be Informed Partnership to briefly talk about how to look at our results reports. In the next couple of weeks, you'll see that we release a lot of different reports, and it's really important to look at those reports and understand what you're looking at. So very briefly, this is a report on known Varroa mite control product use. And if we look at this graph here, we can see a couple of things. First, there are these two averages. And that's the average loss suffered by those people who used a Varroa mite control product and those who did not use a Varroa mite control product in the 12 months preceding the survey. At the top of each bar is the confidence interval, or the 95% confidence interval. That's the region that we have 95% confidence that the average ex truly falls. And so if we were to sample that population 100 times, 95% of the time, the average would fall within that range. If you have very big confidence intervals, that means that you probably have a very large or small response pool. And if you have a very small confidence interval, it means that you have a very large response pool. Or it could mean that the data is very variable. So if you have very variable data, then you have a large confidence interval. If you have very, very similar data, then you have a small confidence interval. Now what's important about confidence interval is if they overlap or if they don't. If two confidence intervals don't overlap, as they do here, that means that the two populations are significantly different. If those confidence intervals did overlap, it would mean that the populations aren't different. If you do look at the two averages and you find that they are different, it doesn't necessarily tell you anything about why they're different, although it's suggestive. So in this case, it suggests that treating with a known varroa mite control product is helping keep colonies alive. But of course, it's probably not the product itself that's keeping the, hi the hive alive. It's probably a consequence of it controlling varroa mites. But it could also be a host of other reasons. Perhaps those people who did use rural mite control products are simply better beekeepers. And so you can't draw any conclusions about causation. It's suggestive data, and that's why it's epidemiological data and not experimental data. Some other things you'll find on, our, on, on, on most of the reports is our response ratio, which gives you an idea of how many people, what percentage of the responding population answered one way or the other. So in this case, 61% of the people said they did not use a product versus 39% who said they did use a product. Also in each report, we have sort of an interpretation. If there's a significant difference between the two groups, we explain what that means in words. And you can look at each report to do that. So I hope that is a very brief description of what confidence intervals means and how to interpret the results. And I hope you find that useful and can apply that as you browse through the many reports we have and will be releasing in the future.